Looks a little scary, doesn't it? Okay, so let's all imagine combining the two square roots. It's not yet time to write things down. It's time to do this in your mind first. Combining the two roots will multiply x by x plus 1. And when you multiply that out, it becomes x squared plus x. You guys are with me? And what's the derivative of x squared plus x? Hey, and there it is right there. You guys are with me? So we have 1 over square root of something times the derivative of that something. Let me write down this intermediate step. And now, it's in your face chain rule. It's 1 over the square root of something times the derivative of something. So it's just going to be the square root of that something times 2. Don't forget that to be the derivative of the square root, you have to have an extra 2 on the bottom. So make up for it. to make up for it, we have to have an extra 2 on top as well. Or you can do this. Put a 2 on the bottom, and then to make up for it, put a 2 outside. Because I want to have 1 over 2, the square root of something. And then the answer becomes... Do you guys see how good you have to be at straightforward integration by substitution to be good at problems where integration by substitution is one step away? Okay? There's another reason why we're doing problems like this, is that when you do more complicated problems that use other techniques that we haven't learned yet, these problems, which are a step or two away from a straightforward application of the of integration by substitution kind of arise naturally. And you have to be not lost, but to say, all right, let's move forward.